Hello, Potato! Since the new year, I thought we would start off by doing an extra week of videos. A theme week. A week that may seem somewhat similar to last year's Just Add Water week. And that is going to be this. The Mountain House Freeze-Dried Premium Meal Assortment. It's got a six-year shelf life. It comes with ten entrees. Two beef stews, two lasagna with meat sauce, three chicken teriyakis, and three beef stroganoffs, and you just add water. They are ideal for camping, backpacking, boating, kayaking, or emergency readiness, which is kind of what we had them for. Yes, we had a total of basically ten meals worth of emergency food. Uh, now there's a couple differences here between the original Just Add Water week and this week. First, of course, being that these are not not the, the tour of the world of culinary goodness that the original Just Add Water week was. Because, yeah, beef stew, I mean, it, it's... I suppose you could argue that lasagna, teriyaki, and stroganoff are international foods, but I'm pretty sure these are going to taste pretty darned American. But there's another big difference, and that is that these are massively out of date. Yes, they had a six-year shelf life, and they expired, or rather, the best buy date was in June of 2017, which means we must have purchased this sometime in 2011, meaning this food is approximately 10 years old and going on four years out of date. So uh, that should be fun for us. I mean, I'm sure it's still going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It may not be the, the best endorsement of the quality of Mountain House foods, because they may not taste their absolute best. But, you know, it's here, and we've actually bought some new emergency food, which is part of why we took a leather look at this one, and saw that, yes, it's massively, massively out of date. So, we're going to eat it on here, and hopefully not get sick and die. So these are supposed to be pretty straightforward. You open the package, you pour in two cups of boiling water, you stir thoroughly, close the zipper, and let it stand for nine minutes, and then stir and serve. Or, for your convenience, you can eat right out of the pouch. We won't do that. We will eat out of bowls, because it's not actually the end of the world. That was last year. We are kind of in a rec No, we're not. We're in the post-apocalypse. But you know what? We're learning to deal with it, and we're still going to eat out of bowls like civilized people. So let's open this up and see what we should start out with today. I haven't decided. There's four different things to try in here. We're going to try them all this week. Let's look at the, uh, the the sodium. Sodium is not... It's not as bad as ramen. So... What? Half a package of this, and I'm, I'm assuming half a package will be a full meal. 32% of your daily salt for the teriyaki, 45% of your daily salt for the beef stew, 40% of your salt for stroganoff, and... a rather slight 25% of your day's salt for the lasagna. Well, that's impressive. Not a lot of ingredients in the beef stew. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, we're going to split these up. These will be my lunch every day this week. And I'm going to make my wife eat them too, because she's the one that originally bought these. All right, so let's open up and take a look at today's meal, which is beef stroganoff with noodles. So we'll start off with the stroganoff. All right, so entree serves two. Freeze-dried beef stroganoff with noodles, zero grams of trans fats, U.S. inspected and passed by the Department of Agriculture. So yeah, these were made back when... No, when Obama was president. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Were these when, uh, when, when Bush was president? No, no, they're Obama. They are Obama-era foods. Outdoor enthusiasts have made Mountain House freeze-dried food their first choice for 40 years. Why? Because Mountain House tastes better than other brands. On the trail, back at camp, or anytime you need a hot, tasty meal, you'll love the delicious aroma, hearty flavor, and simple convenience of our award-winning Mountain House meals. Prepared from quality ingredients, Mountain House gives you the home-cooked flavor you deserve after an active day of outdoor recreation. Mountain House takes pride in offering a wide selection of entrees, desserts, breakfasts, vegetables, and fruit snacks, all of our products are easy to prepare and lightweight. Just add water, wait a few minutes, and eat. Of course, just adding water means you're carrying all the water, which is not light. Easy to prepare. 
Makes two 10 ounce servings. Open package at tear notch. Remove and discard oxygen absorber from pouch. Carefully add two cups of water, uh, boiling water, to the pouch. Stir thoroughly and close zipper. Let stand for eight to nine minutes. Stir and serve. Or stirve. For your convenience, eat right out of the pouch. I guess you just pass it back and forth like, a, like an old timey cartoon hobo with a can of beans. Well, let's take a look at it. And then I'm gonna go boil some water and we will try making it. Make sure I don't rip that, uh, that seal there, because you do need to seal it back up to cook it. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. So yeah, we got a lot of noodles, some powder. Let's, uh... Well, it does taste a little like beef stroganoff. I mean, I didn't get very much powder there. But that's what we're playing with today. Just give it a sniff. I shouldn't just smell it. I should sniff it. I shouldn't just taste it. I should sniff it. Well, it doesn't smell bad. I mean, it's not covered in mold. There's no bugs or anything. So I think we are safe to eat this. So, yeah. I'm going to go boil some water. I will be right back. Or for you, I'll be right back. And we're going to make this bad boy. All right, we have two cups of water just off the boil because you don't have to get it back here. And we're going to add it in and then start a timer for nine minutes. Hopefully I can do it without burning myself or making a mess. See, part of why I didn't bother putting the kettle back here this time like I normally do is that they don't have like a fill line, just have measurements. And so I might had to measure it out I'll just measure it out in the kitchen and not deal with spilling water out of the kettle. All right, so let's start the timer. And uh, we're going. So I'm not going to talk through the whole nine minutes. We will just cut forward in a second. But I was looking at, thinking about the stuff it said back here about eating this after a day of hiking or I would suppose an emergency about it tasting great. It's a delicious aroma, hearty flavor, yada, yada. And I'm thinking, you know, part of that probably is that they say that hunger is the greatest spice. And yes, after a long day of walking around, perhaps not eating anything at all, or just, you know, eating like a protein bar or an energy bar, or some biscuits and cheese, um, yeah, you know, something with a little bit of flavor might be quite good and might taste better in that situation than it's going to taste today. Again, also, this is going on four years out of date, three and a half years out of date. So, um... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll come back. We've got about eight minutes left on the timer. We'll come back when it's up, and we will we will give it a try. Got my bowl. Got my spoon. I'm all ready for it here. Don't need this anymore. Let's put this here. And then the little arm will circle around here, showing that I've cut to seven minutes and 45 seconds from now. We've just got a few seconds left on the clock now. Three, two, one. One. And it should be done. So all we need to do now is stir it up and try it. So we'll pour some in our little bowl here. Let's uh, give ourselves a little more space, I think. All right. Let's open up and see what we have now. And... I, I kind of forgot an important part of the instructions. So hopefully, don't tell anyone, hopefully that's uh, not going to affect things too badly. Honestly, I didn't see it in there. All right, so we're going to stir it up. I must say it doesn't, it doesn't look really any worse than any other kind of just add water sort of meal, does it? You think? Can you see it? It's a little mushy. Maybe I added too much water. Or maybe it's supposed to be sauce. So let's see if we can't get some out into the bowl. That's about half, I think. We'll close the other half of that aside and give it a try. That doesn't. It doesn't look repulsive. It also doesn't look. It doesn't really look any better than the other instant just add water thing I've tried, but it doesn't look awful. The little bits of meat 
Little bits of dried meat are always a little disturbing to me though. All right, enough playing with it. Let's give it a try. Good length on the noodles. Maybe a little too long there. All right, oops, drop my meat. Gotta get the meat. I don't see any mushrooms in here. Maybe it's just mushroom in the sauce. I should look at the ingredients, shouldn't I have? All right, enough stalling, let's eat it. Mm -hmm. For being three and a half years out of date, that's not bad. The noodles are a little stiff, but I think it's that's kind of normal for beef stroganoff. Doesn't taste bad. Yeah, I mean, I suppose if I were in an emergency situation, this would be a quite fine thing to eat. And it's going to not be bad for my lunch today. Well, the sauce is pretty good. The noodles are a little, you know, a little stiff. What's in this? Cooked beef, sour cream, mushrooms. So they are in there, but they might. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe that's not. A, maybe that's not a piece of meat. Maybe that's a piece of mushroom. In any case, you know, I'm not a fan of mushrooms, but it's uh, you know, it's not awful. I will finish eating this. I will not be throwing this in the bin and making something else. This will get it finished. So if you found this all interesting and entertaining, if you did, please give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And then come back tomorrow when I will try whatever the next thing in the package is. I'm going to guess maybe it's teriyaki. I kind of want to save teriyaki to Thursday. I want to save it for the last one. But honestly, this is the one that seems like it'd be the most dodgy to me. So anything else... I mean, this is okay, so anything else should be fine, right? Well, come back tomorrow and find out. Or, you know, just ring the little bell icon up there on the top of the screen if you're watching on the computer. And um, you'll be notified when I post tomorrow's video. So I do thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.